All right, we're good to go. Actually, I think I just... Nope. Ah! I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't go left. That space looks really small. I can never decide if I like this battle song. Oh, fuck! Definitely don't want to use that one again. Fuck! Aw, oh, man. Well, let's just heal the shit out of old Vapor Ray. <laughs> Anyway, what I think what I was saying was, uh, this battle song's really great, but there's also so many other good battle songs in Final Fantasy. I love that Final Fantasy IX took it back to the old, you know, because they kind of stopped doing that after six. Seven and eight don't have that. That's classic. That was there from one through six. All right, here we go. song is really good too. So here we've uh, reawakened. Where am I? Whoa! And I only just removed the crown. Head. Hurts. Easy, this is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. If you really think about what that slave crown does, that's kind of awful. Can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time. That is. So we're still in Narsh, by the way. Mysterious young woman, controlled by the Empire, and born with a gift of magic. So the game loves to give characters uh, names in all caps lock, and I kind of hate that. So I always change it to regular sentence cap. My name is Hera. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. I have an issue with that statement that he makes. I feel like it makes it seem like slave crowns are really common, which is a weird thing to be common, I guess. Like, I thought that the slave crowns were only exclusive to the Empire. That seems like a high-tech thing. So, I don't know. Maybe he just means, like, I've never heard of anyone recovering that fast from amnesia, which I also don't feel like is a common thing, but whatever.
I like the sound those doggies make. <laughs> Open up! Give us back the girl and the Empire's Metrotech armor. Really want her back, huh? Empire? Magitech armor? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here. Oh, I'm actually in control now. Actually, can we take some stuff? Ooh. Okay, so for the most part, in uh, Final Fantasy VI, you can find elixirs from these clocks. It almost never fails. It's pretty cool. How's my health, by the way? Nope, yep, I'm healed. Well, I guess I did take a long-ass nap, I'm assuming. Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. Alright. So this is where we just were, pretty much. Now we're sneaking. Oh, well, trying to sneak out from this bridge. I really like this layout of the city. This isn't the last time we'll see this city. There's some cool parts to it. So we're, we're uh, without magic truck armor, unfortunately. But we are with magic. Ooh, a save point. Alright. Gonna save. All right, let's continue. So these are the chests in Final Fantasy VI. Sometimes they have like different coloration and stuff, but for the most part that's what they look like. Repo Man. Asshole. There's a lot of enemies sometimes that will like do like a last ditch effort kind of attack right before they die. It's lame. So sleeping bags, I'm pretty sure that's an item that's only in Final Fantasy VI. It's literally a tent for one person. Also, this says recovers HP MP to 100%. I don't think that's actually true. I've used it before on someone and characters, and like it doesn't heal them 100%, especially if you're really, really low on health. You can also only use them in the overworld or on safe points. Ooh, I got a tonic. But yeah, let's talk about the items here in a second. Tonics. They recover 50 HP. Potions are a lot better. I feel like tonics are like potions, and potions are like high potions. For what's going on now, anyway.
like current Final Fantasy stuff. Oh, got her. Run, Tara. Oh, nope. Oh, this part's cool. So this is the first, well, you'll see in a second. Ooh, flashback. My sweet little magic user. Wee hee hee. With this slave crown, I'll practically own you. The character there that we'll find out later who he is. And that's Terra in the middle. So I think you just put the slave crown on her. I think she's remembering that. Now she's remembering this. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> good. Burn up everything! Kefka likes fire, I think. I always thought he looked like a dog. Like the hair on the side was his ears, and then like the mustache is actually his like snout slash jowls. I don't know, I always see a dog no matter what I, I- I try to see a person's face, but I always see a dog. Attention, everybody that's on screen. That'll come in handy later. Tara's in the back. Next to her Magitech armor. Poor Tara. So she just remembered all that, I think. Took you long enough. How goes the robbing and plundering trade? Oh, I love this character so much. This is Locke. Treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world for the four relics of the past. Yeah, I'm not into this caps lock thing. Weird. Like, why? Why do that? Is this to draw attention to, like, the names? I don't get it. I prefer the term treasure hunter. Semantic nonsense. I like Locke. I like the sprite animations too, they're cute. The use of uh, punctuation, punctuation marks in this game is really intense. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners. An underground resistance movement. I hate the fact that there's just one word in this entire text block. Girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get her an understanding of life. All right, I think we better help her. Cool. Ah, make your way first to Figaro and talk to the king. Oh, 
Also, that song's really good. Ah, lock. So here we have a few, uh, enemies coming our way. Now we gotcha. A, a few, uh, Imperial, uh, guards in, like, wolf thing? Wolf guys? Whole bunch of them. Koopa. I think this is really one of the first official introductions of Moogles in Final Fantasy. I think! They might have been in 5 briefly, but in 6 they're like really in the game. No, oh, they're so cute! So this is the first time you experience uh, multiple parties. Use us to save Terra from the guards. Need more information? Uh, I'm gonna say no because I know what to do, but I can talk about this a little bit. Basically, you have three parties here, uh, and you change parties with square, and uh, you can still access the menu. Everybody here is pretty good. 